Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 10 of Otaku Elf. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. So yeah, it just thunderstormed really bad here for like a good hour, I believe. So, yeah. Lovely Florida weather. Imelda looks really peaceful. <laughs> it's 7 a.m. Girl. What time do you actually get up? Oh, croissant! Oh, that looks good with the salad. Oh my god. Do you even have enough money? Because you, you want to be that person. We've all kind of done it in some safer way. Did she just eat? <laughs> that good, though. Did she just smell the animal? Oh, I'm like, she smelled the Amazon pumpkin. <laughs> you like that I'm hungry. Oh, in the m well, you know what? Hey, I don't blame her because sometimes I do end up taking a shower around late two in the morning. I mean, it depends. Baby, you barely did work. Right? <laughs> it's like, it's like it's me, you go to bed at the same time. 
Yeah, and then I get like five hours of sleep, and then I gotta be up at like eight, nine o'clock in the morning. Yeah. It really is. That's why you're, you're supposed to at least... <sighs> What's the good time to go to bed? Okay, so no. Here, here's the thing. So depending on the day, like I think last night I was sleep. Let's look at my watch. My watch might give me an answer. That's the weather. You know, watch, aren't you supposed to give me sleeping? Uh, 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 hello? Mm -mm -mm. Okay, well, all right, I gotta give my guess. I think I was asleep about a good two o'clock, but sometimes now, in the weirdest way, I will fall asleep around like 12. And I, <laughs> I can wake up, depending on like if it's a, an event for Center of the Girls, I can wake up at 2 or 3 o'clock exactly and then go back to sleep at least 30 minutes later. Like, nothing happened. <laughs> but due to the rain and stuff, probably that's going to screw me over because I got this. What's his face? Pretty cure. So much to do for the rest of the night. Beautiful, though. Hmm? I mean, you talking. Really, it shouldn't be. Yeah. You sure? I mean, okay. Right. <laughs> and that's so true. Ah! Ooh, that look good. Not. Yeah. Are we getting talking about okay, later? Oh yesterday? Okay, never mind. Never mind. Girl, y'all just had some yesterday though.
Right, like, you know, especially if it's your favorite food. Like, they have always room. If you go tomorrow, please don't get lost. <laughs> The fact that she was trying so hard to give her the bigger one, even though she was salivating at the mouth for the big one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That fucking wallpaper. Y'all remember when Bochi the Rock, Bochi, when they hooked the picture and Bochi had that picture all over her room? Going to um another casino, are you? Yeah, since you really have nothing else to do.
Right? You have to be a completely different person than you were before. I mean, you could also venture out if you really wanted to as well. Ma'am, no. No. That is a big no no. Like, once you go to Vegas. No. I haven't even been to Vegas and I. <laughs> You gonna keep it though? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's nice. Just take it. It's a good gesture. Oh, damn, that's it? it? That's 18 minutes! There's like five... Okay, well, yeah, it makes sense. Okay, so I do love the fact that this whole episode, we really just got to see everybody in what they're currently doing. It's really nice, because at first, like, what I'm hoping that we're kind of getting before the show is over is that, yes, the two, four, six of them, yeah, are all together in one episode. I mean, yes, that would be... Madhouse crazy moments because you never know what could happen when you have three elves together and their three Mikos together. Like, mm. that's probably not good. Of course, like, y you know, something bad is bound to happen in <laughs> their own special <laughs> way, but it'll be very good entertainment for 30 minutes. I mean, I'm not mad at that. Like, seriously, I think that would be a really enjoyable thing. Now, if the show. Didn't do it. I probably would like to see it in like a random OVA episode or at least season two because I know we're getting to the close to the end of the show, which is sad. I mean, it, we're getting close to the end of like everything for this season and we're getting on to summer, which is hella crazy because if you would have told me at the beginning of the year that we were already into summer, I probably would have looked at you like you were nuts. And besides, we're already in summer, but still, it's fucking nuts. God! As you know, it's over my birthday. Great. <laughs> what uh, what I'm about to say, who wakes up at five? But I'm about to say, I do, but I don't really. I think it's only like a couple of times I've woken up at like 5 a.m. Or Red Bull. <laughs> A Red Bull at five in the morning?
he only knew what was going on. <laughs> she sleeps though. The Red Bull is still there. The purple top looked nice. The purse looked good. And then whatever was on like the upper left hand corner on the other side of the page, that looked good too. I'm sorry, I'm a girl. <laughs> Can we at least see the cat? Dang! Two times in this episode! No kitty! Well, I'll fall asleep. A little midnight snack, you know? What one? All right. So at least she had to be like sleep at what, like 11, 1130? I mean, cause like what? Elder went to bed at like, no, she took a bath at like two. There you go, 11. Mm -hmm. <laughs> While well, Elder is, you know, still getting her stuff done. <laughs> Honestly, this is probably like the cutest and best episode of the series. I mean, yes, every single episode is good as hell, but just having an episode where you get to see just like the daily things of these girls with their elves and doing everything else that they have to do and their power to, you know, <laughs> on their daily basis. It's just the most interesting thing. I love it. It kind of gives me like the feels of when, okay, early, early early in the stages of when everybody was playing the shit at Animal Crossing, including myself. Um, and everybody was playing that ish all day, every freaking day. If you was not playing Animal Crossing, you were probably playing Mario Kart or at least Genshin um, or something at least every day. Me, I was going back and forth between Animal Crossing and Genshin. And then, you know, I was just like, Ugh! I stopped one random day and I have not looked back. I have not been into my island and checked into my island about a good two years, I want to say. Um, the funny thing is I have all the villagers that I want, but I think I, I am creative. I really, truly am. But when I'm trying, I have like so many different freaking ideas going through my head, especially when you're wanting to create an island or anything that sometimes I'm like, and I can't do shack ish. Or I'll, I'll start something and I finish it and then I'm like, no, that doesn't look good. I don't like this. And then you look at the ones that when the game was hella popular and at its peak that so many people's islands are doing. You, you look at yours and you're just like, my island is jack shit compared to yours. Like, the biggest thing is <laughs> my mom would always laugh at me because I always had to pay Tom Nook and I still have not paid Tom Nook like all of my ish. And I'm like, ma'am, just leave me alone. Leave me alone. I know I gotta pay my money. 
and such. <laughs> like, I remember trying to do everything in my power um, to literally try to get all of it done in time. I think stage-wise of my house, I don't have an upstairs or a downstairs yet. I have like that, you know, that first initial floor that you have completed when you're um, starting that, when you get the house and everything. Um, I just, once again, don't have the upstairs or the downstairs. So I, I'm like barely almost done. I didn't do the DLC, would like to do it because I know there's like even more better things about it, but you know, you still kind of wish, and I think I am one of those too, that Nintendo would still add a little bit more things of it to it because I feel like during pre or peak of COVID they put in so much into that and then now it's like you know crickets because I felt like Nintendo has already moved on to their biggest and greatest thing um which is so many things like that was the same thing how I felt with like the newest Pokemon even though that had problems and I did not play it or um the current newest thing is the sequel to the Legend of Zelda game and such. And so I'm like, damn. That's not cool. But like, yeah, you know, mm. that's like the same thing with like freaking Square Enix where <laughs> when Summer Game Fest came out on Thursday, I was all excited for like Kingdom Hearts news. And even though I had to put on my clown makeup and I was like, <laughs> Kingdom Hearts news ain't coming because you know the deal is with Square Enix, they're like, oh, hey when we're promoting something, you're probably not going to get something else of this. And so, because Final Fantasy 17, Final Fantasy 17, well, I'm, I'm about to hit myself. Mm. 7 Remake and 16 are the popular things right now. Kingdom Hearts is um, automatically, like, on the back burner where it's like, I want my ish, but we're not going to get that. And I'm not mad at that. I get to still celebrate with all the other people who are excited for, the, like, Final Fantasy and stuff. So, still, I'm happy for them. And then, you know, it's the same thing with Persona. But <laughs> that's a completely different thing. But yes, this was a cute, adorable episode. And I really hope we get, like, the six of them all together before this series ends. Because I feel like we have, what, at least two more weeks left with this show? But really, who knows? But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 10 of Otaku Elf. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join my squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode 11. Bye, guys.